the Spirit in a powerful way, more than a survival way. Yeah. Amen. Having the Spirit in a life way, it's just a survival way. You're surviving there. Defense. Correct. You're just playing defense. You cannot go on offense. You need the Spirit without measure, without limit. Because the mountains might take a while to come down. If they were that easy knockdown, they would have fallen a generation before you. If the journey was that easy to cross, there was no need for the water to go up. Are you listening? If Jericho was that simple, you just needed to knock on the door. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, I got to lose my self-interest. Yeah. I got to lose my self-interest. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You see, without losing your self-interest, you might be able to fool some people. Yeah. But you can't fool anybody that paid a price. Yeah. You can only fool those like yourself. <laughs> you can only fool those like yourself. Catholicly, you can't call them out on it because you have the same one. It's you. You see, you will never the fool others and go, I'm going to under some serious, you know, that mountain undertaking. I'm about to cross some you know, Jordan and knock down some Jericho. But when they look at you, they'll see you only have, as James said, defensive oil. Yeah. You have only have single filling. Yeah. You have never had the second filling. You have never paid the price. It'll take them two seconds to observe your life and go, with no self-interest, not a chance. But if they have not paid the price, they can tell that you need to pay the price in order to enter the spirit without limit. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you definitely can't fool the Lord, as you know. Yep. Amen? Amen? Like the foolish virgin, you will not able to, what you start with, they start out on something, but they weren't able to bring it to what? Completion. Their goal was to see the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Also, paying the price, let me explain, this one is very important too. We all know there's going to be a rapture. Almost every Christian should notice that there's going to be a rapture. Is everybody going to be raptured? No. You think those of us that are, though you have life, but still love the infested self, love the flesh and love the world, you think you'll be raptured? No. no. Denying of self or pick up your cross greatly relates to what? Rapture. You are ready. The wheat is what? Ripe and dry. It greatly relates to rapture. Mm. Not rapture. Hmm? Not rapture. <laughs> 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 I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I thank God what he does in my life. Many of you know I'm a Raptors fan, too. The season is almost done. You know how many games I've been able to watch? One. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Raptors. I just can't give up what? The time to watch the Raptors. Yeah. I've been able to watch one game. Because the Lord's interest keeps me what? <laughs> way too busy. I'm way too preoccupied. I I amen? In the name of Jesus. You see? Once we are, amen, sanctified, meaning separated from the infested self, the flesh, and the world, you will find, just like our balloon, when it is filled with helium, it does naturally ascend. You are ascending into God's interest and purpose and where He said, meaning you are very, very moldable, you see, and God can maneuver you quite easy. Yeah. You see, very malleable. When you are not, though, sanctified in this way, when God tries to lead you, you're going, you, you see, Stick your self-interest is going to, God, <laughs> I know what you yeah, want, yeah, yeah. but that's Nineveh, but yeah, my corrupted self, go, yeah. me and Alex are supposed to go drink tonight. Lord, I, I, I know what you want, yeah. but you're like Peter. Yeah. You're like, right, times go, yeah. you, know, like, you do not have the Father's will, yeah. it's your desires, yeah. but the things of the word of the devil. Mm -hmm. You see, you go, but, this is my nap time. <laughs> this is the time where I like to nap. You see? Because I just eat. 
<laughs> not according to mama, and I need someone around my belly. You know. You, you, you and him going to have issue. And you want to be praying for that blessing. I go, why the more I pray, the more discipline come. It has to. He has to break you away from the control and the conformities. You are conforming to the patterns. Hallelujah. So, please be very clear. Part of the condition, both to do the will of God, and I'm talking here not indwelling, to have the spirit without limit. Amen. And to able to be effective and for rapture is proper sanctification. Yes. Meaning several from the infestation of all the three things I talk about. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now the Lord said, you see, once you are separated this way, you should be able to do this effectively. Let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse 35 to 40. Actually, Charles, just before we go to Luke uh, 12, I should show you one more thing. Go to Luke 11 first, 10 and 13. Luke 11. Once you have accept the sanctification of the Lord, you should do this. Luke chapter 11. Say amen when we're there, then we'll do 12. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Look, Luke 11, 10 and 13. Verse 10 and 13. Mm -hmm. 10 and 13. Yeah. 10 and 13. Yeah. Or we can go, we can go. Let's, let's read 10 to 13. It's okay. Are we there? For everyone who asks and keeps on asking, receive. And he who seeks, amen, and keeps on seeking, find. And to him who knocks, amen, and keeps, and keeps on knocking, the door shall be open. Now look at verse 11. Let's see who he's talking to. What father among you, if his son asks for a loaf of bread, will give him a stone? And if he asks, amen, for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Amen. Now verse 12 went on to say, or if he asks for an egg, we'll give him a scorpion. If you then, evil as you are, know how to give good gifts, gifts, amen, that are of, of their advantage to your children, how much more will your heavenly what? Father. So this is assuming you already have what? The inner life. Because to become God's children, you have to have a divine sperm. It's divine DNA. You already have life. God is speaking here to his own children and he goes, the children must learn to ask and keep on asking. Because you know what God is always doing? Ask and keep on asking. You got to be sanctified. Mm. You need to do my will. I want to send you. Yeah. So equally as he made this demand, you should ask him for more what? Grace upon grace. grace. You should ask for the spirit without limit. If you are not sent or don't have to take the message, why do you need the spirit without limit? What are you going to do with it? You already have life. Do you understand? Cole and um, Kai are going to grow up one of these days. Now, without any price, they got the life of Charles and Jane. But as they get older, for them to get their family estate, they're going to keep asking that. Put it in my hand. Dad, let me do it. You understand? For them to do this, they will have to deny their interest and be very caught up in the, what the two of you have built. If you find there's a chance they'll get rid of what you do, two of it built, will you give, put it into their hand? No. Nope. Not a chance. Foundation. You're going, we didn't work and give up this much for you to just what? Get rid of it. As they are committed amen, to the family purpose, committed to the goals and the desires you two have, will dictate what you want. Do. Amen? So the Bible said, Amen? To their children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask and continue to ask it? Unless you take on undertaking and crossing Jordan, you'll never keep asking. If when the mountains is so big and taking so long to efface, it makes you after what? Continuously ask. Yeah. 
It's when the journey is so wide and so high. Um. You go, Lord, I am not enough. I'm not strong enough. I don't know enough. You're going to need to give me the spirit. Not sparingly, but what? Bountifully. Are you listening? It's when you walk, you march to Jericho once, and you march at the gate, and again, and it still won't collapse. You go, Lord, you're going to need to carry me on. This is when you don't just sing these songs. These songs become real to you then. Fill me up. Oh, fill me up. This is when you're going to say, oh, Lord. Oh, won't you fill me with you, with you. You see, until this happened, you don't ask, you don't, you don't pray those kind of prayers. So bad. Yes. Because you know if the place where you're feeling come from. But if you do not, if you are still running after your flesh and infestation and the world, the only thing you'll be asking him is to give you more of that in which he won't answer. Amen? But when you go on the undertaking, and God will lead you to undertake it for sanctification, separation. Sanctification, remember, the word means, means separate. Yes. First is separation yes. Yes. from the three, what I call the three distortion. Mm. The self, the flesh, and the world. But then there's undertaking. And undertaking leads for you, what I call continue, or the Bible call continue asking. And what you're asking is for the spirit without what? Measure. What you're knocking and seeking, and you go, why are you following me? Because I need the spirit without measure. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, he's gone up the hills, he's gone up the mountains. Hallelujah. He's gone up the valleys. Hallelujah. The Bible says you must ask and keep on asking. Which means you're supposed to go from undertaking to undertaking. From Jordan crossing to Jordan crossing. In Jesus' name. Let's go now to Luke 12. This is the expectation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Got that cold? Are we there? Luke chapter 12, 35 to 40. We say amen when we're there. The Bible reads from verse 35 Keep your loins girded and your lap burning. Now please understand this. When they are with the Jew, as you know, they wear, um, like, like, let's call it like dress, long, long garments. And in order to work, they used to have to tie it up. They have to tie it up so they can be able to move fast or free. So the Lord goes, which means, when he said, guard up your loins, be ready to what? Work. 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 Yeah. It's like weight lifting. Weight lifting before you lift your belt. Your belt, you tie up yourself. So you keep your belt on, stay in a state ready to what? Work. To be sent, yeah. ready to carry out the message. You understand? And you go, keep you, you go, I have light you, I have give you oil, I have give you force oil, because you are a light one in the world. You say you are a star, you are a light, you are the salt in the world. No, you go, no, you are the salt, no, you are the light, no, keep your loins, stay in the state, you understand? That is favorable to what? Work. Yeah. Be right. dressed perfect. He said, keep your loins guarded, which means you're not allowed to let down, because you've got to go, i got to put myself together first. <laughs> that means you're not in the state ready to what? Work. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. You go, I gotta get ready first. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. Keep your loins guarded and your lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to return. This is Christ speaking to the disciple home. From the amen? From the marriage feast. So that when he returns from the wedding, amen? Come. And comes and knocks. They may open to him immediately. If your lines is guard, you can answer the door what? Right away. Yes. If not, you've got to tie up yourself first. You've got to go, I need to get ready in a state of movement. Yeah. Amen? Verse 27 said, Bless, happy, fortunate, and to be envy are those servants whom the master find awake and alert and watching. 
when he comes, truly I say to you, he will guard himself and have them recline at the table and will come and serve them. Verse 38, if he comes in the second watch, we don't know when he will come, before midnight, amen, or the third watch, when is the third watch? After midnight, what happened with the virgins? When did he come? Did he come in the, the virgins? Did Christ came when the virgins went out in the first or the second watch? No. When did he come? The third watch. He came after midnight. <laughs> they were prepared for what? The loins, were the loins guard? No. Yes, no, they were first. At first. At first. At first. first watch. They were, they, they were ready for first and second watch. But the wise one was ready for what? All watch. Are you listening to what I'm saying? What I'm trying to, listen, you don't know when you have to do an undertaking. God is the one what? Can you don't, it is his will and you are carrying it out. Do you understand? You don't know when you have to cross the journey. You don't know when you're going to have to knock down the Jericho. But he goes, keep your loins guarded and your lamp burning. Because he goes, do not predetermine I will come in the first. Yeah. Or even the second. Or maybe even the third. Or in the Roman, there was a fourth watch. But he goes, I expect you to have oil to endure what? All watches. Oh, hallelujah. How precious is the Lord. Oh, abundant. Oh, yeah. He said, if he comes in the second watch before midnight, or the third watch, amen, after midnight, and find them, amen, and find them so blessed, happy, fortunate, and to be envy are those servants. He said, if I come and I find you awake, you're blessed. I want to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you. My suggestion, don't eat too much food. Food puts you to sleep. Hallelujah. Verse 39 said, But of this be assured. He said, of this be certain. If the householder had known amen, at what time the burglar was coming, he would have been awake and alert and watching and would not have permitted his house to be amen, dug through and broken into. You also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour, at a moment, when you do not anticipate. Hey. Amen. I'm just laughing because on the way here, um, Chris and my mom were talking, and Chris was just saying, it would be ideal if the baby came at uh, Easter weekend because everyone is not working. And I'm like, that's not up to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to be prepped before that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah. Yeah. It'd, it'd be great if we had it in a statutory hall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is bad. He would like to cross the Jordan or to do the undertaking. Amen? Yeah. When he is ready to do it. Yeah. Perfect. No, no, no. Yeah. God said, You do not know when you have to do your undertaking. Welcome, my brother. Either you do not know when I'm going to command you cross the Jordan. And you definitely not going to know when I tell you, take Jericho now. But you got to know what I'm going to ask you. He said, well, yes. He said, well, be assured. You're going to ask you. You're going to deliver. Be assured, yes. I'm coming. Be assured. Yeah, I have separated you for this undertaking. He said, it, I might come in the first watch when I call upon you. It might be in the second. It might be the third or even the fourth. But even when I come, you better be awake to open to respond to me when? Immediately. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It's like the army. They train when there's no war. They yes. Whatever. It's not I'm, like, I'm, oh, well, when, when a fight comes, then we'll... Yeah, and what they love to do is them. When you're sleeping, all of a sudden the drill begins in the middle of the night. <laughs> At all different hours. Yeah. And you better pass. Or if there's serious consequence, yeah. if you respond slow. Yes. Kind of everybody would be dead, dead in the camp. Oh. You have, this is why you must be separated from the corrupted self, from the flesh. Because their constitution is in direct. You know, if that conflict would be in awake. Do you, you get this church? The Lord goes, keep your light burning. This is why the foolish virgin were calling up. When the bridegroom come, he came, he came in the third watch, they ran out of light. Do you understand? God may send it to save a family. You can't halfway uh, through the saving go, okay, I'm done. I, I, I need to go get back ready and come. 
Because by the time you come back, the enemy will dig through them and finish the family. Are you listening? Yes. Uh, he might call you to save a community through Christ. You can't go to watch and go, I can't make the third and the fourth. It shows you're unprepared. It shows you're still being influenced by the world, by the flesh, or the self. Yeah. It shows you definitely in getting the spirit without what? Limit. Which means you either not been sent, you either do not carry the right message, amen, or you would have it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We don't know when he's going to come. But we need to know this much. Amen. When he comes, you have to be able to respond. Now I just want to cover one more area. We're going to stop for today. Then I think we should only have one more segment to cover when we preach again. We're probably going to be in April. Never forget this part here. Force oil can be imparted or amen, evoke. But the second oil, nobody can deny themselves for you. Yeah. Do you understand? So when you have when to, to get you the belief to receive the first oil, you see, mama can preach to you or lay hands upon you and you can receive first oil. But to get the spirit without limit, mama can't give you our spirit without limit. Because the secret or, 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 the, or the precursor to get the spirit without limit is what? Yeah, it's perfect. You have to deny yourself. Charles can't deny himself of Jessica. Jessica can't go well. Charles denies himself of all his in the interests. So Lord, the same way you give him the spirit without limit, give it to me. No, 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 no. That part is personal. Never forget this. Light can be borrowed. When Charles is lighting up an area, I can go in so I can see things what? Two, never forget it. Light can be borrowed, but oil. Amen, amen, amen. The foolish virgin can borrow the wise virgin light, but when they try to borrow the oil, they go, that doesn't happen. Because to get extra oil, you have to pay the price. Right. Disown itself. Jazzy can borrow Jing light. And Brother Wallace can borrow Jazzy light. You guys can't see, but when, I mean, many times I meet people, they go, once I come around you or in the church, everything is clear. They can borrow the light. <laughs> but they can never borrow extra oil. That one comes at a price. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's look at a couple of scriptures quickly. Charles, can you give me Acts 17? And then we're going to look at Acts 19. Acts chapter 8, verse 17, I mean. We confuse this. We kind of go, well, because Brother Wallace is holy, if I hang around holy people, I'll become holy. Is holiness infectious? No. What contamination is what? Yeah. Very infectious. <laughs> Hanging around holy people do not make you holy. Do you understand? Hanging around people that are lit might give you light, but it doesn't mean you are light or you have abundance of oil. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 17. You'll see light can be borrowed. Acts, chapter 8, verse 17. You're almost there. Five more minutes. This is called lighting candle. This can be done. But for the oil, they need to pay the price. Are we in Acts chapter 8, verse 17? So they had believed, but they didn't yet receive the Holy Spirit. So what the apostles did? Somebody read? Then the apostles laid their hands on them one by one, and they received the Holy Spirit. What did the apostles do with their candle? They light one by one, until all of them were what? Lit. Lit. But they can't get the apostle what? Oil. <laughs> you see, someone... It's like when you light somebody, you light the, the, the fire, but you, you still have the candle. Correct. You still have the wax that needs to burn, right? You see, Jake might go to our neighborhood and light all the candles, get them all to believe, to receive. But for any one of them to have the spirit without limit, 
They must pay the same price she paid. Sister Gloria will go to her place, her family, and light all the candles. But the only way they'll have the spirit bountifully, they must pay the same price she paid. Christ put it this way. They go, Lord, we want the same spirit you have. He go, can you pay the price I pay? Can you drink the cup I am drinking? Whoa. Are you listening? They go to Jazzy. Jazzy, I saw just like seven. You light so many candles. When I light one, I get tired. How come your spirit is so strong? She will have one word for them. Just pay the price I pay. Some people can light one person. Some can light two or three. But when you come to ten, they're what? They're finished. They go, I, I need to go back and rest. I need a few days. I'll come see you next week. I can't lie. I like two today. If they keep up at that rate, we'll make it to the million years. The enemy will finish off the species. With your quota. <laughs> do, do you understand? Oh, no. They can't like much. You know, Star, we have a brother. When he, when he deals with, when he came to play with me, he go, you know, most people, he got travels in, you know, drips or streams. Oh, sorry. He got a man like you travel in oceans, in waves. It meaning you must have the ability to like what? Many without getting what? Depleted. Mm -hmm. There's only one way that can be done. You have paid the price to have the spirit what? Mm -hmm. Bonglessly. Are you listening? They can borrow. It's like someone go, when people used to smoke, give me a light. They can borrow Jaffi to get light. Yeah. But they can never yeah. borrow or source mm -hmm. unless they pay the price. Do you understand this process? Never forget, light can be borrowed, but never oil. Car oil demands a price. Christ said, You have to be able to drink the cup that I drink. You don't know what you're asking. Yes, the cup of suffering. Because to deny yourself is what? It's hurtful to self. You're denying him of his pleasure. He like corrupt and destructive thought. He like perverse and skewed thoughts and feelings and behavior and attitudes. Do you understand this? He like to be involved with the boys when they're, and the girls when they're doing things they're not supposed to do. But the Lord said what? What they do you can't what? Do. Where they go you can't go. What they say you can't say. And what they worship you can't. Their God can't be their God. <laughs> Do you understand? Amen. Their God is the party and the rum and the cussing mm. and the carousing. You can't go. Mm. They should know it's so good. I can know some people when they're doing something, they go, you can't come with us. Yeah. Like, 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 we both know that. You can't go where they go. Vice versa. Where you go, they can go. And what you say, they can say. The Bible says that's the only spirit that they can to say Jesus is Lord, they can never what? Say. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus. So you can light the candles. Yes. I don't know what Jordan you have to cross to light these candles. I don't know what mountains you need to, but I know you're going to be sent to light candles. I pray you can light more than one or two. Both for you, our kingdom, and the people. You can't have to light it to go, whoo, that was a hard one. I, that candle was submerged in the, in the Jordan. So it took me three hours to light it. I'm going over and rest. You know. Some candles are submerged in the Jordan. Some candles are hidden in the mountain. You got to take the mountain apart. Many candles are hidden in what? Jericho. Where was Rahab? In Jericho. Yeah. Yet God had plans for her. Mm -hmm. So if you can't knock down Jericho, you can't get to what? Mm -hmm. Rahab. Church, I guarantee you're going to be sent. Well, uh, uh, assuming you complete your sanctification. Amen? I guarantee there'll be candles to be light. Not all of them are going to be light just like what? Some people, you can save them like what? Yep. Some, you're going to earn that saving. You're going to need to get past some of them. You are, you, when Paul was preaching, Paul preached through the first watch, the second watch. He preached into the third watch. He was into the fourth and someone fell through the window. 
That boy, you just because we were in the of steam. Paul can preach what? All night. He can tell about the message of God all night. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. I just want to show one more lighting candle. Go to Acts 19, verse 6. If you want to understand the right the rest of the lighting candle, I ain't gonna cover them. You can read 1 Timothy 4:14, 4, 2 Timothy 1, 6. This is all about lighting candle. 1 Timothy 4, 14. 2 Timothy 1, 6. They're about borrowing light to light candles. Someone can borrow your lighter. But not your oil. We're going to Acts 19.6. Hallelujah. I heard a song the other day. It's talking within my spirit for days. I think it's a jazzy song. It's by News Boys. Hallelujah, he reigned. I just in the mood to worship with that song. I just, I, oh. How are we in Acts 19.6? Brother Charles, you there? Yep. The Bible reads, And as Paul laid his hands upon them, Amen, one at a time, the Holy Spirit came on them, this is the same thing, and they spoke in foreign, unknown tongues, language, and prophecy. As God sent some of you to light people, like the, like the um, Samaritan woman, she went and testified, they're going to rekindle. Some of the Spirit will bring forth prophecy. Some will bring forth tongues. Some will start to testify. But for them to continue it, they'll need to get what? More oil. Or for them to do it in a massive way or in a powerful way. Because once they've been turned on, do you know what the enemy brings? Once you light them, do you know what the enemy brings? Obstacles. Yeah. You, you want obstacle. Yeah. So for them to continue the lighting procession, yeah. they now need to do mountain what? Under cake. So now they're going to come and say, I, Sister Gloria said, I have such desire to share what has touched me to light so many candles, but there's so much obstacle. Now you must show her how to pick up her cross so she can have oil that removes obstacle. Because you think the enemy is going to just let you be on a free campaign running like it, you're dreaming. Remember, this world is what? Controlling. Hallelujah. You see, it's why many times you like someone and they can't go forward. They have such desire and you go, how did they run out of steam? Equal, but if you haven't done it, you won't be able to show them. Yeah. If you haven't picked up your teach cross, you won't do it. Correct. Teach them about the oil. You would have able to light, but you don't know how to teach them to pick up the cross to get to the next level. I call it second gear. Second gear or second wind is you having you understand? the spirit without limit. The spirit boundlessly. The enemy must go, don't this man or woman get tired of lighting people? How much more mountains must I put in their way to stop them or slow them down? And he must come to the conclusion, because of the spirit without limit, there's no amount of mountain or Jordan or Jericho to stop them. Maybe let's go work on the other side. Let's leave them alone. Correct. Do you, do you understand? We just sing an hallelujah, he reigned. Mm. <laughs> I trust in the Lord who has called you, who has sent in you, who has given you his message. And who want to give you the spirit without limit. will send you forth. You will able to go through the mountain and the taking. You will cross the Jordans. Jericho's will collapse before you and in your presence. Because you have paid the price. You have lose your own interest. You have disowned yourself. And now you have the spirit without limit. This I prophesize and release through the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. You must pay the price. Christ said, you must. He didn't say you, you, it, it will be nice for you to pick up your cross. He got it what? It must be done. He said, if anyone will follow me, he must pick up his cross. We can't get around that process. Do you understand this? And you can, you, you will have this great desire in you to light candles. You are going to suffer when other candles are still in darkness. Because Christ himself said, I come that people not in darkness. That spirit is in what? You. So you will suffer when they are in darkness. 
but you're not able to deal with them or do the undertaking if you don't have the spirit without what? Limit. You'll get a few easy ones. A few you'll live with just, without crossing any mountain, just light. But you're going to meet many that have been submerged in water for quite a while. Candles that have been in water do not light that simple. Correct. You're going to meet many that are stuck behind or in the mountain. And you're going to meet many that they're great Jericho. You have to get past the wall first. Wall of substance, wall of family, wall of culture, wall of demon. You need to get past it to light them. Now based on how well you do your undertaking will dictate your reward. Judgment begins for those that are late. Amen? That are light. That did not pay the price or who has paid the price and how well you work. Do you understand this process? Yes. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to leave you here today and trust in the Lord that the word story that you mature in your commitment and your conviction. That you bring your consecration, your sanctification to completion. Losing the infested self. Losing the flesh that is only focused and committed to fleshy things. And don't get mad with it. It is committed to its true nature. Just leave it. You can't get it to do something it's not designed to do. And you definitely have to come out or stay out. You have, the Lord has already brought you. Stay out of the world. It is part of your salvation. One part is you have resurrection life, new life. That's the coming into your new life. But that only happens effectively when you come out of the world. That crucify your Lord. The world that is in enmity with God. The world that is set for destruction. Amen? And in the enemy control. In the name of Jesus. It is the truth that sets us free. I want to know if we can just worship a little bit. Because you heard us, one, if you'll join your brother, just let's worship. And just before we get into worship, I want to give those that are watching us on YouTube, etc., you are well to join us. Charles or Jane, can you find me that song now? New, Newsboy E. Green. I want to worship a little bit. Amen. Um, you know, those that watch us on YouTube and the internet, we thank God for your life. Those that are in the body, we just thank God for your life. I want to encourage you to pay your price. Disown yourself. Lose interest. Ask the Lord to apply the cross in a subject, subjective way, in an experiential way, where it's personal experience, where you will lose interest in yourself, and where the Lord is interested in you, you become very interested. You already have the spirit that is interested in the Lord. Once there's once nothing competing, amen, or trying to insert its own interest, the spirit will naturally follow the Lord and, the, and do the will of the Lord. And I'm trusting that you pick up your cross, you'll have the spirit without limit. And anyone who has not accepted the Lord, we always take this chance that right now, wheresoever you are, if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, and God raised Him from the dead, and He's the Lord and the Christ, then you shall receive the infilling Spirit, where the Lord will renew your heart, give you a new spirit, and He will indwell. And He will lead you into His desire, and to pick up your cross, so you can do the will of lighting candles, and mounting undertaking, crossing Jordan, making Jericho's collapsing, and be effective in your life. In Jesus' name. When you are going around lighting candles anywhere you are, and I'm telling you, I don't want you to fool, the enemy will bring great mountains. He's what he's supposed to do. He's John, you don't want you to light all the candles, but as you light them, that echo will follow you. Jesus reign. Amen? So you think he can only resist. He can't stop. Because he's not supposed to stop. Amen? You know, I encourage you, when Paul came to the church in Ephesians, in Ephesians in the book of Ephesians, he found the church was ineffective, and he prayed this prayer in Ephesians 3.15. He said, I pray that God will strengthen your inner man with might and power. When your inner man is strengthened, you want to light candles. And this will make you, as you try to light the candles, you'll find the mountains are formidable, and as I said, the Jordans, and so forth. Amen? And at this price, you'll go, Lord, you know, give me dunamis. Give me mm. power from up on high. Not life you're looking for. You're looking for power. Mm. But at this point, he will also make a demand. And you go, okay, pick up your cross. Take the same cup that I take. Deny yourself. Lose your yield. In essence, God is very simple like anybody. God will not give you his abundance to do your thing. That will never happen. No more than none of you, if you are, you know, a business person, etc., will give someone, you know, something to do their own thing. They can do their own thing, they just got to do it on their own. 
with their stuff. Right. Amen. You support the things that you are in agreement with. Does that make sense? Amen. And so forth. And as you pick up your cross, you'll find you will strengthen your inner man. You'll have a greater sense of light in candle. But you will equally be up to the task in Jesus' name. Amen. And mountains are mountains. Jordans are Jordans. Jerichos are Jerichos. And you just happen to be an undertaker. That's what you do. Anywhere you go, it's what you do. You light candles and remove obstacles. Amen. When the enemy try to resist you, once you are strengthened, you will be able to resist him better. And the Bible says, if you resist him, he has to flee. Yes. That he might. He must. But if you can't resist him, he will not what? Flee. So you will need to be strengthened.